What's up guys, Ergonics here, and have I got a tutorial for you. I'm going to show you guys how to get the visualizer from the forums working for your keyboard. It should, in theory, work with all the machines. If it doesn't, let me know in the comments below, but if you follow my instructions exactly, it should work just fine. So, first things first. All these links that I'm going to be sending you to will be in the description below. So make sure you go click those links. First off, actually first off, come down here and close Synapse. Because if Synapse is open, this shit ain't going to work. Don't know why, it just won't. So go close it. Next up, step number two. Download the API description guide and the SDK. Yep, I'm waiting. Are you done yet? Okay. Next up, you'll want to open where you extracted those two and run the Razer Chroma SDK Core EXE file. This will pop up, extract a bunch of files, and close. That's fine. It's done. Then you want to open the SDK support enabling registry file and click run. It'll pop up with a thing saying this is going to add registry entries and yada, yada, yada. Just go ahead and click OK, and it'll add the stuff. Now, close that because you're done with all of that stuff. Now, you want to head over to this link, which is for a virtual audio cable. Uh, the actual VAC virtual audio cable that you have to pay for I couldn't get that to work. So I downloaded this one and this one worked. So go ahead, click download. You'll have to scroll down the page a little bit for the download link, but click away. You know, I'm waiting again. Okay, you got it. You're extracting it. Once you've got it extracted, these are the files that are in it. Go ahead, right click your x64 setup file and run as administrator. You have to run it as an as admin, otherwise it's not going to install. So just go ahead, click that. This will say install driver instead of remove driver because I obviously have it installed already. So go ahead, click install. That's that. Final ins downloads that you're going to be doing are from the actual Razer keyboard spectrograph thread on the Razer Insider forums and you want to grab the test binary and the OpenAL installer. I tried getting it to work without OpenAL, didn't work, so go ahead and install this. So yeah, click on these, download them. I'll wait, I'm not in any rush. Okay, those were super small files, so they should be done. So you've got those extracted Go ahead and open up the OpenAL installer. I'd open it right now, but the last time I did it when I was recording a video, it crashed my keyboard and I had to reboot my computer because I couldn't finalize the video. Now, once you have that installed, you can just uh, put this off to the side, like I'm going to right now. And you want to come down to the bottom right of your screen and right click on your little speaker. Go ahead and click Playback Devices. Now here is all the devices that sound normally comes out of. You want to scroll down and find the only input in the playback device. You want to right click and set that as the default device. Then you want to click on the recording tab. Again, scroll down, find the cable output, right click and set that as de default device. Then you want to right click it again click on properties, head over to the listen tab, make sure this the listen to this device checkbox is checked, click on your drop down menu, pick the device you want to actually hear your sound through, for me that's my Astro headset, or I could go down with my either of my uh, Steel Series headsets, or I could go with my speakers, or I could go with my keyboard stuff. But yeah, just pick the one that you want to use. I'm using my Astros, so I pick that. Click OK. Click OK. 
And now you want to open the fan bus audio. I already have it open. So we'll just pretend like I double clicked on it. And this is the little box. When this pops up and stays here and you have this faded um, wave effect on your keyboard, it's, it's a really good sign that it's going to work. So go ahead, pick your audio. For me, I'm picking a piece from uh, Infinite. He's a local, I guess, DJ artist. I don't know what you classify the people who make DJ music as artist. Yeah, good enough. He's a local artist near where I live. So I'm picking a track from him. Uh, let's scroll down. Let's pick my favorite one once I find it. Cascade, where are you? Where are you? And for those of you who like the song I'm going to play, go ahead, hit him up on his SoundCloud, his Facebook, YouTube. I'm going to leave those links down in the bottom there in the description. Where is Cascade? Did I pass it? I have it downloaded, so I could just load it. Ah, here we go. Pick your song, click play. And as you can see, it's working. So yeah, that's that's it for the tutorial. Go ahead if you okay, if this video didn't work, like if the t this tutorial didn't work and it didn't work for you, I want to know like what operating system you're using, um, what kind of sound card you have or other audio devices. I want to know all the important stuff that might cause an issue. May, but I can't stress enough, close Synapse. Close Synapse. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. And if this tutorial did work for you, go ahead, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, you know, do all that stuff. And I will see you guys in my next video. I think some of you guys are going to be a little surprised about what my next video is. So thanks a lot, guys.